Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for a quick how-to video. And in this video, I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to share with you guys and girls for quite a while. And anyone who's watched my videos looking at forge-rolled tactical space marines from my Iron Hands army may remember that I talk a lot about big advantages of buying resin models is your ability to heat up the parts and repose them. I'm going to do here now. The kit we're working with today is these guys, which is the Legio Custodes Aquilion Terminators with Infernus fire pikes. Fantastic looking models. However, I'm not entirely happy with the stances of these miniatures and there may be a bit of what some people refer to as the CAD curse going on here. And what I'm going to try and do here is, and I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm going to give it a go and see if we can improve the stances. So I'll be dunking these guys in hot water and hopefully getting some better poses. Small tweaks, but quite often with miniatures, it's just the small things that improve the pose and the final look of it. Let me explain to you what I'm not so happy about with these guys. Now we'll start with this set of legs. When we look at this model from the top, this guy's striding forward. And what I don't like about this is how this foot is inclined inwards. It just doesn't feel quite right. In my mind's eye, it just feels it should point out a little bit more. Just so you've got kind of like a line running down like this. You've got the tip of the toe, you've got the ridge of your armor plate, and then you've got the crest of his greave. This one, I don't know, just doesn't feel quite aligned right. So I'm gonna try bend that leg out a touch. On this one, again, it's a, it's a leading leg that I'm not entirely happy with. It just looks like the foot is turned in a bit, just a touch. Yeah, so I'm not entirely happy with that. So I just want to try tweak that out a, a little bit. And then on this set of legs, this is a similar thing again. I've got to admit, I'm not overly keen on the poses of these guys. So I'm hoping that this is going to improve them a bit. And we'll have a bit of fun of exper and experimentation. Right, so tools. We don't need any tools, but we're doing some water. We've got a travel mug here with some boiled water in it. And then here, we have a... Uh, Hmm, geological map. I hmm, wonder which period this is. There we go. Kimmeridgian, so it's Jurassic. Kimmeridgian. Yeah, that is Jurassic, isn't it? Yeah. And that's got some cold water in for quenching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to completely submerge the miniature, or the part, to let it soften up. And then hopefully, we're going to be able to do some manipulation. It does vary as to the amount of time you need to submerge a model, a miniature for. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to do this in real time. So, let's just see. Well, that, you can see now, that's pretty flexible, can't you? So, let's just try. Actually, that's bending quite nicely, so I've been able to bend that foot so it's more, it feels more natural now. So just drop that quickly in the cold water, and you don't need it, it doesn't need long in the cold water to have the desired effect. Let's have a look now. So it's only subtle, but I've turned that foot out a little bit. Just going to heat this foot up one more time and just bend it slightly. Slightly down, actually. Oops. Perhaps that was a little bit too slightly. No, that's okay. There we go. Cool that down again. I guess so now it's the foot's flat on the ground, so I'm hoping that that's got the kind of effect I want. So this guy, what I'm thinking is that the torso... Right, let me grab a couple of the torso parts to show you. So those are the two halves of a torso. That will look better as a striding forward pose. Yeah, I think, that's a, I think I quite like that. Just looks more in line to me. So what I've done is I've bent the foot this way just a bit. So it looks like he's striding forward more. And not as if he's walking with his feet in as opposed to in this sort of like, uh, almost like kind of in line. As, a, as opposed to having an instep. So that's the that first one done. So now this guy, just to bend that foot up slightly, so I'll dunk that in the hot water again. 
or let it heat up. Well, I've just today, this evening, finished all the cleanup work on the Quillon Terminator. So I'm hoping to get them together tomorrow evening and then be able to get a review for everybody. That's been heated up. Yeah, plenty of flexibility and ouch, just mind the hot water. And let's just... I might not have caught that on camera for you there, but I just bent the foot out a bit. And actually, the, this this is actually, the, these models work quite well actually for bending. I wasn't sure if we we're gonna have enough flexibility, but if it might be too stout, shall we say, to bend. But I actually think I'm getting some really good results and I'm actually feeling more confident than I was at the start of this video about getting the desired result. There we go. So now the foot has been bent out slightly and it feels to me like it's more in line with kind of anatomically where his foot would want to be if he's striding forward. Yeah, definitely, I'm much happier with that. It's a small change, but it just feels that it makes a difference, or well, certainly to my eye. I wonder if I want to do it a bit more. I would have liked, and I'm a big fan of Will Hayes' work and his models, but I think one thing I would have liked to have seen on this set is just a stance with one of the guys stood with his feet planted on the ground as opposed to having all three in motion. Uh, I think it was a bit unnecessary. It would have been nice to have had a pose like that to offset the other two in motion. So quite happy with that one now. And then this last one, yep, yeah, let's get it dunked and heated up. I would be most interested to hear in the comments if any of you ladies and gentlemen do a similar sort of thing with your resin models. Do you routinely exploit the properties of the material to heat them up and change the poses. I do it all the time with loads of my models. It's one of the best things about bind resin models when it gets to this stage. But I'm just wondering how many other people do it as well. Let's see if this is ready. So got yeah, lots of flexibility again now. Let me think. So this one, it's almost like this time I could actually do a double, couldn't I? Maybe I, ah. Right, okay, I'm gonna be a bit more ambitious with this. I'm going to try change the pose more fundamentally. I've just spotted the opportunity there. I'm gonna try to turn this into something of that stood still stance or, you know, just standing as opposed to walking stance I just uh, talked about earlier. And I think actually this set of legs will do it. I do like these models. I think, although they've been an awful lot of work to clean up, and I will talk about that at length in the final review, they are gonna look great, and I'm really, really tempted to buy a set with the Storm Bolters, or the particular Custodian variety of the Storm Bolter when those are released. I think they're gonna be great models. Well, I just like the idea of having what you might call, you know, kind of like a fairly standard weapon on the Custodians. You know, the Fire Pikes are great, the Adrathic Destructors are great, but I really like the look of the Custodian Storm Bolter. I think it would just be nice in amongst all their super high-tech weaponry just to get something a little bit more down to earth and average. So what I've done is I've bent this legs forward and I've, I can't remember what I did with that one. I didn't actually do as much in the end. I didn't need to in the end. So I wonder how that looks. That does actually look more like just a dude stud. Does it look right though is the next question. This leg here, I think I need that bending out slightly. So I'm just gonna dip one half of the model into the hot water and hold it carefully without burning myself. Always a challenge with the hot water, but the advantage as well with the hot water because it's very difficult to heat limited areas up with using a hairdryer. Well, you can use cardboard masks. That's a good way, or deflectors. It's a good way of doing it. But it's, you know, you've got to cut them. Whereas I just find with doing it with hot water, it's so easy just to do it this way. A lot less faffy, I find. But both methods have their advantages. The hairdryer approach clearly has the advantage of not necessitating having hot water stood around. You still run the risk of burning yourself with using a hairdryer. It's a slightly different sort of burn risk, but nonetheless, it exists all the same. Sorry about the shadow there. Right. 
this is going to be the hard bend. Ooh, we're getting there. What I'm trying to do here is just bend the toe so it's going to be flat. So bend the toe forward, bend this toe down here so the foot will then be flat on the floor. Hear my joint cracking there. Let me cool that down so I think I just got it. I want to freeze it before it moves. I think I'm about there. I'll just grab one of their bases and just see how it mounts onto the base. I think that's all right, yeah. Mm, where is it? I'm gonna to go to heat the whole foot up. I'm not actually quite happy with that. I'm gonna try heat the whole foot up once more and get it into position. Hmm. Just need some freshly boiled hot water. Back in a sec. So I've just replenished the hot water. Um, so freshly boiled hot water in the thermos mug. And I'm going to carefully immerse this foot into it. And then we can hopefully get the final position I'm after. I need to get it really, really hot. Pull that down quick. Let's see, is that flat? That's better, yes, that's better now. Let me dry it off so you can see properly. Uh, there you go, so, compared to what I had before, the foot is now much more flat on the floor. So, I'm reasonably pleased with that, actually. We've got something much more akin to an upright stood not walking pose with this one now it's a bit hard to show me you now it's uh, probably not the easiest thing to film this particular one because the changes i've made are quite slight but even though the changes i've been making on these guys is actually quite subtle i hope maybe this is a useful demonstration of the principle of how you can repose resin parts or you know resin limbs and stuff there you go reposing some Aquilon Terminator's legs. Let me know what you think. There might be a second part to this where I look at reposing the arms for the Aquilon Terminator's as well. I might come back and do a second bit of this to follow on because as you know, in the same way you can do the legs, you can do the arms as well. So is this a useful technique for you? Is this something that you routinely do anyway? Do you have a better way of doing it than what I've demonstrated here? I'll be very interested to hear in the comments as usual. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time, and goodbye.